What is it? What are we looking at? That's that's Eric. Oh my god! I was like, "What are you?" I didn't. I wasn't sure what we were looking at. Holy yeah. cow! <laughs> ah, that's Eric. You're gonna get that morning run in there, Eric. Yeah, uh, Erica Stratman. Uh, I already did twenty miles. You yeah, me? I'm sure you did. <laughs> no, I did. both ways uphill. Welcome back to the show, there man. You how how you go. doing, Eric? How you guys doing? Oh, we're doing all right this morning. I was looking forward to uh, getting you uh, getting you on today and uh, talking about nutrition. I thought this was our. Uh, I thought this was a good start for uh, character because. Uh, I feel like you've been Jack Frosting me all week, so uh, I, you know, wanted to make sure that you know you can uh, return the favor now. You're nice and warm down there, so uh, we can uh, get this new week kicked off right. All right, so let me go to uh, let's do this right here because uh, you know he's been uh, a very good trainer, a very good coach, and every couple of days he reaches out to me. How you doing? Uh, you know, why don't you go ahead and start loading the stuff that you're eating into your app? Because, uh, again, a lot of people don't know. He can see what you are putting into the app. Right. Even though he's in New York. Um, you know, I met him years ago when he was here in the Bay Area, started a couple of gyms and uh, sold those, moved moved the family up north. And yep. and uh, uh, so, so part of this deal for him to help me is he has access to this, you know, what is it, MyFitnessPal, right? Yes, sir. MyFitnessPal. And so I give him access to it, and then he sees what I'm loading in every day. And what he sees is I'm loading in nothing every single day. Uh, so on Monday, he texts me. He's like, hey, man. And, and I really appreciate it. I hey, really... you're consistent. Let's let's start with that. <laughs> Thanks, That's got some positive. Thanks. I appreciate that. So uh, he, hey. texts, he texts me on, uh, on Monday like, hey, man, um, this is not about the show. This is about your long-term health. You know, I really want to help you. And so, you know, just start putting in the food and water intake, you know, and we'll go from there. And I exactly. uh, te- and I text them back. I, I know that I read it earlier in the show, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring it back up here uh, because this is an important part of, of my development or something. I text them back. I'm trying. I have some serious anxiety issues when I go to do stuff like this. Very serious. It shuts me the F down. I spiral to the point of suicidal thoughts, and I hate it. <laughs> I'm calling a psychologist so I can work on that on my end and I will do my best when I get home to log the stuff that I remember from yesterday and today. I'm really sorry. Thank you for your help. And you said, you know, you're like, no worries, brother. I'm praying for you. We'll get through this together kind of a thing. And uh, not only did I not call a psychologist, I said, I'll, I'm calling a psychologist. Not only did I not do that, I, I still haven't lo- uh, logged anything in into my app. Uh, so now here we are. <laughs> We're at Wednesday. We, two two we weeks. Go. Two weeks of you trying to uh, help me and our listeners in this process, and I, I can't even do something as simple as open up an app and load in food. Hey, that's all right. I mean, you know, the the key to understanding this is that it, it's you know the mindset of some folks, and I'm sure you're you're in the same boat. Is that you know when you log it, you're worried about either the judgment or what you're going to see and it's really just getting comfortable with knowing okay well I'm already loading it into my body so I'm not going to reveal any you know earth shattering news when I actually put it into the app but now we can quantify what's going on with that food so it's you know if you're eating it it already happens so it's right. not There's, one of those things that it's not you like know, a- you're putting yourself you know you're putting something in there you're not doing anyway uh, so uh, let's go ahead and, and do that right here and right now, okay? So uh, it, there's if, if I because if, if when we get off the phone, I go, hey man, I'll, when we get off the show today, I'll go ahead and load in the stuff from this morning and whatever I can remember from yesterday, but it won't happen. Well, but, I, I mean it in the moment that it's going to happen, but it won't. But we'll do this. So I'm trying to download the app right now. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna jump in the deep end of the pool just yet. But I'll but I'll get into the shallow end. I'm downloading the Johnny, app, and that's and I'm all gonna, I need you to do, buddy. I'm going to start tracking. Toe. I'm going to start tracking my food nice. to hopefully encourage you to do the same. Because then we can go and see, you know, who's really uh, it, it's who can eat the most calories, right? That's what we're doing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that you know because we were, we know this is all really going to start for everybody January first. Right. So, so this is just the uh, which is terrible timing for me because that's the week of my birthday. But that's okay. <laughs> All right, January seventh for you then. Yeah. Now, are well, you that's my birthday. Guys that has a birthday week. Is or that a cheat you week? Have a birthday. No, that's that. The seventh is my birthday. No, but do you have a? Are oh. you? He said, "Are you one of those people that have a birthday week?" Or? Oh no, no, no. Okay. Oh man, I've had people. I've had coaches work for me. Like, well, it's you know, I can't come in this weekend. It's my birthday week, and I'm like, birthday week. 
I didn't know you were like the king of Egypt or something <laughs> in this big celebration. It's like it's you were born yeah, one day, yeah, you know, yeah. high five some people. You're going to be 32 years old. It's not like you're going to be eight and, you know, you're going to Chuck E. Cheese, you know, but it is what it is. So. All right, so here I so here I am. Uh, I've got I've got the app pulled out uh, pulled up. This nice. is my fitness pal, um, and I need to load in uh, some food. So I'm going to load in today. Oh, hold on, uh, Eric. Eric uh, Tom's asking you to turn the phone in landscape mode. <laughs> Let's go. Is that better? There we oh, go. Oh, look at that. Much better. Go, Tom. I appreciate it. Thank Perfect. you, Tom. Perfect. Thank That's, you. Yeah. That does uh, that does ping some people's OCD when they see that. Uh, uh, portrait mode or whatever it's called. All right, so I'm loading in some food. Uh, so I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna, at an angle. I'm gonna per even better. So I'm clicking <laughs> food, and now I'm clicking breakfast, <laughs> and then it brings up recent, frequent my foods, meals, and recipes. So uh, what do I want to? What do I want to do there? Uh, uh, you're gonna log if it's not something you've eaten recently. Now, if we shook up the bag of tater tots and you know uh, with salt, we know that's logged in there. So go ahead and just. All right. So recent. do I hit create food or a quick add? Quick ad. Well, Turn. no, at the very top, you have that search bar. Okay. Like if you're oh, in your yeah, diary, yeah. you just type, start typing in what you ate. All right. Mick. And it will uh, give you that, you know, that prompt of what it is. If it's something you ate recently, it'll, uh, it'll actually give it to you. But if you're, you're not a, um, you know, if it's something new, you start out with that protein shake or something. Then, yeah, that's you know. what it was. So for me, it was a half a sugar cookie that I happened to find downstairs. All right, so nice. sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle, five hundred sixty. All right, so click on that. So it's five hundred five hundred and sixty three calories. Yeah, that's sausage. I get you. Oh, jeez. Uh, so my carbs uh, in that one sandwich, thirty percent of my carbs for the day. <laughs> <laughs> you ate so much. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Uh, you I gotta mean, love this. I didn't even know you could do that. That was awesome. Uh, you, you can do it right on your phone. Yeah. 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 Right on your phone. Uh, so uh, so carbs thirty percent of my carb intake for the day when that one sandwich. Thirty <laughs> percent. Oh no. <laughs> that one. Dude, sandwich. that's our new uh, sausage egg and cheese McGriddle guy. There it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, the fat wizard. Uh, <laughs> That sandwich was 55% of my fat intake for the day. Oh, you're so sorry. That's really good. Now, look at that. Now, th this is where, it, you know, the exciting part of all this tracking happens is because you know right now from just having that, if that's something you like to start your day with and that's, you know, your jam right now and it's just convenient, then, Only on Wednesday you know, you know you've on. got to be a little more protein and carb heavy in your next meals, it's not something that's high fat. Okay. So if you're having something like, say, chicken and sweet potatoes for lunch, even though it sounds a little boring, it's uh, one of my favorite meals. I'm, a, I'm one of those guys, and I'll give you guys a quick prep hack. Is Please do. You can go into Publix and get, like, uh, Purdue chicken shortcuts that are already cooked. They're in a bag. You literally just heat it up. It gives you nine ounces of chicken. It's a couple servings in there. You can get prepped sweet potatoes that already has, it has a very minimal amount of fat because they do make them a little flavored and cinnamon so you have that stuff there available ready to go if you're one of those people that aren't cooks if you're like hey i'm gonna prep 10 chicken breasts at the beginning of the week and kick you know cook 20 sweet potatoes hey get after it but we really want to make sure that you know you understand that it's not the end of the world but again we talked about the first week of blogging if you go way over your numbers i don't care that's fine I, know, I just want you to log this week. Right, you're just you it's just getting want... into that habit, right? Yes, exactly. All right, so hold on here. McDonald's hash brown went along with it. Let's see what that brings up. Was that today? It was this morning. So you had the oh, McGriddle man. and the hash brown. So the hash. Did brown you get the salt and shake it up? Uh, no, I did not. I did not. However, oh, you should have shook it up. So. Uh, just the hash brown is 150 calories. Just the hash brown. Right. And, and just the hash brown would be 44% of my carb intake for the day. 53% of my fat intake. So that means I've hit, I've exceeded my fat intake for the day between just the hash brown and the McGriddle. Right. And then protein only 3%. So I hit. So this. if we were, if we were, you know, a few weeks into this process and you ate that, 
Uh, if it's not your off time, because again, we already talked about like that quote unquote cheat time that we're going to have a half a day. You don't log anything when you go um, zombie, but we've already had many of those half days pass us. So it's okay. But, uh, as far as the, um, rest of the day was concerned, we would just look at saying, okay, well we need protein and carb only sources. So if, say you're going to have fruit and you're going to have some meat and you're going to have, you know, some potatoes, you might have some rice. Uh, maybe there's some bread in there, you know, if, the, if your body's not uh, um, aggravated by it. Again, that's getting, you know, a couple months into the process where we look, really look at mac, or micronutrients of your food, of what are the vitamins and minerals and quality of the food, and is your body reactive to any of those elements. But we're way before that, you know, this is the general, let's see how your body reacts to uh, just logging and, and staying consistent because you're going to see – immediate weight loss, you know, after that week of dialing in. So if the viewers don't know either, we uploaded your numbers uh, a little over a week ago, something specific, because when you're saying you've already exceeded your fat intake for the day, that's not something that was populated by MyFitnessPal. I wanted to program that specific to your weight goals. All right, so what do I do now? So I've loaded in uh, just what I've had for breakfast uh, this morning. Right. Is there anything else I need to do right now with my app? How uh, much water or any other drinks that you've had? Diet, uh, okay, yeah. a coffee and a Diet Coke is what I've had today. So what do I, I load okay, that stuff into? In. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now, black coffee is black coffee. It'll barely have any calories now. And know, I, do, uh, do those go under the food category, I guess? Yeah, when okay. you click on food, it'll 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 do it. The only thing that would be outside of that is your water intake, which we discussed. We want you to try to get in a minimum of a hundred ounces a day. Hundred ounces is uh, is, that's is that a, that's over a that's well over a gallon, right? No, gallons one twenty eight. So oh, okay. we're not even uh, we're not even hitting a gallon. You could easily hit a gallon, but you know, for you and for your viewers. Uh, it's important to understand you should always start your day with 20 to 32 ounces of water right out of the gate. Uh, I do it every morning. I got a 24 ounce cup or 32 ounce cup that sits on my counter. I fill it with my uh, my pitcher, down it, but I just don't leave the counter till I'm done. And uh, it does amazing things just to not only start the processes of your body, but hydration's key. You want the first thing uh, hitting your stomach, not acidic coffee. You want it to be, because you better believe right behind that water is a cup of coffee, but Right, there. right. All right, so I loaded my Diet Coke. That's 0%, 0%, and 0%, and zero calories. Look at that. Look at that. So that doesn't make me feel horrible. And then uh, a cup of coffee, you said. Now, are you a cream and sugar guy or just coffee? Uh, the, the, the cream is an almond milk based cream. So it's not, you know, it's not dairy. Oh, good. Okay. All right. So let's go with a uh, coffee then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there was no sugar, but just a uh, almond milk. I don't know. So we'll do that. Coffee with just coffee. One cup. We'll say that. All right. So, um, what? Wait, what what's cause I did coffee, but. A ter Altera, so that must be a specific kind of coffee. Cause that hey, Johnny, we got the sugar cookie face now. Uh we have sugar <laughs> cookies. <laughs> All right, let's just go with uh, let's just go with the coffee there at the top. I've All already right. got my stuff logged in. Two calories. Had a boy. What? Nothing. Three Twizzlers and half a sugar cookie. <laughs> it's part now of what? Yeah, that's hilarious. Now, now, fish. What I want you to also think about too is. Uh, when you get a chance, scan the actual container on your almond creamer or whatever, so that way you know um, every time you put it in, you can say, hey, I had a couple tablespoons of this or or where you're at, so right. it'll help it out. And so, all, and so when he says a scan, I guess at the top here uh, of th this thing, you just hit this one button, and there's a scan button there. Or where did it go? Oh, and I loaded my food. In the course. upper right. <laughs> <laughs> He's having way too much fun over there, dude. This is I love the it. Best. No, I just listen. To this, this is the best. All right, so you'll see there yeah, at the top right. There's a little scan code there, so you hit that and then scan whatever product you're talking about. Um, and, exactly, and, and it already has it in there. I mean, they make it way, way easy to do. And if you, you know, and, and this is something I encourage anybody that's tracking is if you already know, like you're a lunch guy, and you're like, hey, I always get this chef salad. I get this, you know, uh, BK number four, whatever you get, 
loaded in uh, prematurely. Or we talked about, hey, you have a gig tonight, you have a couple beers, put them in now. You know, if you're going to do that, <laughs> put them in. So that way it's already prepped, ready to go. So you can plan around it for the rest of your day. What did you There's set not a as, beer button. What did you set as your goal? <laughs> Are you talking about me? Do you remember what you set as your goal? For calories per day? Like, no, for weight loss or? Uh, uh, we started honestly, out at about 230, 220. And no, so, all right, so I put 225 on mine. Yeah, I think I put so 220. What, so your calorie counts a little over 2,000? Yeah. Okay. We're, we're about the same. All right, good. Okay. So uh, food then, okay. Beer. And if you want Johnny later after the show, just uh, shoot me a text. I can get your login and password and just actually set up what your goals would be because it's much different than what uh, my fitness pal defaults to. Now is that the login and password to my Tinder account? Is that or is that to? Uh, I will <laughs> swipe right. I promise. <laughs> All right. So I, I go. Uh, to, I go to click on beer. And because I, I, if I, I want to put two beers, because do I have to just go in and do add another beer? Or so there, what? Yeah, what you'll we'll do is go ahead. What kind of beer do you drink? Let's go ahead and log. Uh, tonight will be some kind of a, a craft beer here locally. Let's let's say it's um uh, three daughters. Okay. Uh, what the hell is it? A three beach blonde. Uh, beer. So I would type in beer, three daughters, beach blonde, or just do three daughters and watch it, and, and I'm see sure what happens. Start coming up. All right, because that's a local brewery here. They, I mean, they might not necessarily have it on here. Farmer's daughter, beer, farmer's daughter. It's no three daughters. All right, we're just gonna go for for right now. I'm just gonna uh, put right. in beer, and um, and then the first one here is a twelve ouncer. We'll uh, we'll just say. And then you'll see one hundred percent of my carbs down. in one beer. Oh, you're so. You, you'll see a couple lines down that it has the uh, number of servings. Uh, the two do servings exactly. So if you put two or three, whatever you know you're going to have. We'll, we'll start with two. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you go with three and overshoot it? Because right, then you could feel good if you only had two. All right, I, all right, all right. So uh, three it is, and that'll be a later on. Chris uh, now, Chris Brown uh, chimes in. He goes, give up beer for a, a month and uh, see what happens. Sorry, Eric. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> see, here's the thing. I've got karaoke tonight, okay, out at a uh, park and rec. You're like, oh, you can't go do a four-hour gig without having a couple, three beers? Yes, but not karaoke because I can't sing. And, uh, well, you know, I'm just using it as, as an excuse. I'm I'm loading in three yeah, beers right are. now, but now that I've got that in my head, I'm going to see if I can go out there tonight, do a four-hour karaoke gig, and uh, just drink water? Tequila. But see, <laughs> I, 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 I this to me is exactly like I was saying, the, the I think it was the first time we talked to Eric, which is that it's the guilt factor, right? And so the calorie count now on the menu gives you that guilt factor where you're like, holy crap, I'm just I'm about to eat you know, 1500 calories in one meal. And so you decide to change up your menu choice. Tracking your food is going to do the same thing. You're now realizing that two beers pretty much maxes your calorie count out for the day or whatever it was, your carb count. And, and so, you know, now you're, you're second guessing your choices, which you're supposed, right? Which is a positive. Yeah. It's the point. It's the point of it. All right. So I've got that. Uh, we've got, we've got the process started now. Um, a little bit earlier in the show, we were talking about uh, anxiety and my anxiety issues and how this is uh, uh, one of the hurdles that I have to get over in order to get in half decent shape. And I, I and I and I need and I, I can't I can't do this right here with you and with Johnny. You know, I really do need to sit down with a professional and and try to get to the bottom because it's not even about figuring out what's what it is. I'm just now getting to the point in my life. At this age, within the last few months, really of going, all right, buddy, you have some kind of anxiety disorder. There's this, this is, this is the, no matter how many times you keep going around and around your head, no, I can fix this. I can fix, if well, soon I'll just do this and then I'll do this and I'll do this and everything will be fine. Well, I've been, I've been going through that cycle in my head for 20 years. And let me ask you this real quick. Yes, sir. What, how much caffeine do you take in a day? Uh, I have a cup, a cup of coffee in the morning, sometime, uh, sometimes a cup of coffee and a diet Coke by the time that I get here by six or six thirty or so. Right. Um, then 
depending, but like, okay, for just for instance, last night, I'm out at Boulevard Burgers. It's a gig that starts at seven o'clock. I've been up since 4.30 in the morning. Well, by the time that is coming around, my body's ready to go to bed. I'm like, no, 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 we're getting back, getting ready to go back out, right. set up some equipment and be on. It's not just about, I have to be on my game. So yeah. I, as soon as I get there, I grab a Diet Coke and I probably filled it, filled it up, you know, your typical, I don't know, that's probably 16 ounces or so at a restaurant. And I probably filled that up five, six times within two hours. Nice. The reason I ask is because you'll see a lot of uh, anxiety linked to caffeine. Like when you eliminate caffeine from your diet, you all right there? Got a hole in your lip? There's a layer of something on the top of this coffee. What is it? It's almond juju. (laughs) What is that? Of course, I put it right in my mouth. You got the whole almond? I don't know. This is the coffee the cords brought in. What the hell did he put in it? Why am I eating oh. it? Anti-anxiety why is my, medication. Why is my why is my uh, instinct to eat eat something that looks like well, was brown it? snot? <laughs> Sugar? No. no. Lot, Cinnamon? Lot, maybe? Latte stuff? I don't know. It didn't, didn't really have a taste. Cyanide. Right. It's, there you go. All right. That's so you're saying uh, one of the things that will uh, help out my anxiety is uh, is uh, to to minimize Eliminate caffeine. I know in your industry it's tough to do that. Um, but it's really finding a different, you know, not only resting more, you know, you get to bed, it's tough to say, well, I'm going to, you know, get to bed and, and get nine hours of sleep when you get out of a gig and you got to get back up at four 30, but maybe that's just, you know, a nap during the day is going to help that out quite a bit. But, but that's what happened last you know, night. Eric, really so... looking at, uh, because. Well, what I was going to say, that's what happened last night is, uh, you know, so then I have, then I, you know, I have five, six, seven diet Cokes to get me through, which I don't really need. It's more, again, that's anxiety too i don't really need to keep going back to it uh, and it probably should be water because it's more of a nervous thing i just need to keep keep drinking something or whatever and if we were yeah. water if i could just switch it over to water i'd be fine but then yeah go. so i get home and now you don't get to bed till after midnight because i'm all jacked up on diet coke and then my alarm's going off at 4 30 and i'm going uh, exactly i need coffee and i need and something diet fat, and a diet <laughs> coke and something fat and fatty and whatever well, and Eric, yep. doesn't the Diet Coke exacerbate the problem because it spikes your 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 blood sugar, and oh, then yeah, and then could, you, and then you crash harder? Exactly. You know your, uh, you know the Diet Coke uh, myth about the well, it is zero calories, and my fitness pal does not lie. You saw that it That's is right. zero calories, but it's still the uh, the chemical that makes up the sweetener in there still stimulates your brain to release insulin and elevate your blood sugar. So really. Without the calories, it's doing the same exact thing. I mean, there's some great studies you can see that, uh, it, it, you know, it, they've done one with rats where they, uh, and it got my buddy to stop drinking Diet Coke. The Diet Coke rat was five times heavier than the regular Coke rat. So the fake stuff's worse than the, huh. than, than the real, than just plain sugar. But again, the real thing. You know, we're not going to, uh, you know, we're not going to change all of your habits. Like I said, first week, this is something a few weeks in that we try to peel off. I only dove into that pond because uh, you're talking about anxiety. I had it for a while and realized I'm like, man, I'm drinking coffee and then I'm drinking Red Bull and then I'm drinking Monster. And, then and I'm, I'm wondering coffee. why I'm going like this at three in the afternoon. Yeah, but then you realize like, you're like, what was that? What was that? You know? <laughs> yep, yep. I can't put something in, you know, so you, you realize you're like, I'm so anxious. Why? And you go, oh, well, because of my caffeine. I mean, you Google it a little bit and get your googly Googlers out. And uh, I want to share with you the uh, the snow in my front yard right now. Jeez. It's pretty awesome here. Live from Freaking New York. Snow. Live yeah. from New York. It's Eric Stratman from TNL Nutrition Coaching. Um, all right, man. Thank you so much uh, for for coming on again this week. And uh, like you were saying, I, I feel like we are, we are, we're laying a foundation right now uh, to really start getting on track by the beginning of the year. <laughs> These few, for, for, uh, first few weeks that we have you on are uh, about getting me psychologically prepared. Exactly. And uh, when you think, That's all I want you to think about when you're like, ah, I don't want to do it, and it's just going to get that. You know, you're just, ah. All right, that's what I'm going to want to visualize as uh, as I'm going for that McGriddle tomorrow. No, skip the McGriddle. No. Go right for. Well, let's see how the rest of the day plays out, right? So uh, I'll be mm-hmm. checking on your nutrition 
uh, tomorrow morning because you'll do your uh, weight and measurements. Tomorrow is your weigh-in and measurement day, and uh, we can update the, the show on that uh, next Wednesday. But, uh, you know, you'll have your tape measure that you're picking up from Michael's or Joanne's or whatever today. And uh, tomorrow morning you'll uh, just get up two minutes earlier and uh, uh, get that weight and measurements in so we can uh, we can look at that. Eric, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye. Thanks, man. We'll get there, or I'll get there. I'll get there. We'll get there. I'm we'll gonna, get there. I'm gonna start good? tracking my. I just gotta find. Uh, I, I need to get, just go ahead and finally sign up for that uh, uh, cardio boxing, boxing cardio thing. Just you know, don't eat, don't even worry about that right now. Just spend the next week loading. You know, remembering to load everything into that app. And, yeah. And like you say, we'll compare next in the in, you know, and we'll go. What the hell am I? And I put this kind of stuff in my body every single day. Oh How yeah. How am I still even cl- you know ticking? Yeah, but you're right. I look at my uh, chin here, and if I were just to give up beer for a month, yeah, diet coke, even soda. I went hardcore on giving up soda for a while, and it was people were noticing. I mean, about a week or two later, people were already noticing. They're like, "Wow, are you losing weight?" Oh, wow. Like just stopping soda altogether. And I'm not a big soda drinker. Like you drink, you you drink uh, your diet coke on a daily basis, that sort of thing. Maybe I'll maybe have one soda a day, and that's typically with my lunch. Um, yeah, that's not bad at all. I don't. I don't um, but even that, I is mean, it one of those has big sixty-four ounces. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. One of those huge gulps. Yeah, you, you go back up and uh, fill it up a couple times before you leave the uh, leave the, yeah. uh, the the. Chris Brown restaurant. says uh, he's five weeks no soda, no alcohol. Uh, the uh, David Capote's uh, asking if you've been tested for sleep apnea. I actually need to be tested for sleep apnea. I'm I'm almost 100% positive that I have sleep apnea. Um, and uh, Chris is also chiming in because he's big on this nutrition stuff. He goes, if you don't drink enough water, your body will retain the water as well. And that soda is basically a meal with all the calories just like beer. Uh, I... The, there's been a, a few mornings where I'm sitting on the computer and I feel like I've had enough sleep and my I'm falling asleep, you know, as I'm prepping yep. before we come in. Like, I can't keep my eyes open kind of a thing. And I wonder it, if it has a lot to do with the water because my water intake right now, I'll go through phases where... That's a sleep apnea. I don't know that I have sleep apnea. I, I have I'm pretty issues. sure I do. You might, but I mean, you might, but I, I don't know. I've... I've never snuggled up next to you to, you know, listen to you snore all Don't night lie. Long. Don't <laughs> lie, Fisher. But, uh, yeah, we'll get this, hopefully get this thing figured out. You know, it's it's been a years. You know, I'm one of those people that uh, I guess you can say I've always battled with his weight and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and then I beat myself up horribly because I feel like it's my own fault and I should be able to uh, do this. You know, if other people can go, my wife can go to the gym every single day. How come I can't? Uh, but there's a lot of things that all of a sudden start coming into play in my head as I, yeah. as I, as I walk towards that gym door and open it up all of a sudden. Yeah. The, that's like my, my, just the judgment, the, the all the stuff. Yo, just get over, man. Just go do it. F you. <laughs> that's what sends me spiraling because those voices in my head just get over just do it those those voices that i've heard all my life are yelling back at me and then i go you're right you're right i should be able to do this myself i'm an adult i i i I'm, i should be, i i'm capable of other things i should be capable yeah. of these simple things in my life well and it's one of those things that right now is the best opportunity for you to get into these habits uh of of taking care of yourself because you have the time and the flexibility to do it uh, you know, like, do I have the mental capacity? Right. Well, I mean, that's a whole nother story altogether. You know, but but I, I've told you, like for me, I'm happy with who I am and how I am. You know, I like going out and enjoying food and, you know, and eating what I eat. I, I don't like to I have to go somewhere and worry about what I'm going to order because, you know, uh, it may or may not be good for me or it may or may not, you know. And so, yeah, I mean, obviously that comes with the risk of your health and longevity. But yeah. but at the same time, like dying early. But it's it's you know if life isn't about enjoying yourself, I mean it, it's it's again that to me that's a part of life is enjoying uh, food and enjoying experiences and and so I mean I want to do this right because you know I would like to lose a little bit of weight and kind of look a little better and that sort of thing, especially now back being on the single game. That's but, right, you know. But uh, at the same time, I'm I'm happy with who I am and and I also want I don't want to get into that situation where you meet somebody 
And, and then when you fall off the wagon, right? So let's say I'd stop tracking and I stop doing the exercising, that sort of thing. And I go back to my natural state. They'll be like, well, this isn't the guy that I met. Right. And that's my concern with doing all of this is, is that you meet someone at, at when you're at your kind of at your, your peak fitness you know you're working out you feel like you have to maintain that well you're right you have to maintain it because that's that's how they met you that's what they were attracted to that's what you know well so uh this was an interesting show today bud it was oh by the way there's a video i want you to pull up it's uh and it's on our wake show uh wake dot show inbox so this is a buddy of ours dave lee who uh, wanted to send the bottom video uh, he wanted us to share this with folks. He's he's become a loyal viewer, and he knows that we love dog videos. And so uh, he, he sent us this. Let's see. I'm going to pull up your... There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they never had a chance. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for that. See, that's that's the way you end the show. Yeah, that's the way you end the show right there.